YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at our team of the week investments, probably going to take a quick little peek at the market and potentially other investments we can be making currently on this game. But before we do all that, we got to talk about content today on Wednesday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Wednesday was pretty much as expected. Apologies for this video being late as well. Me and Brooke went to a drive-in movie. We saw Barbie and um, yeah, I just got home like 10 minutes ago. And uh, yeah, apologies for that. But guys, my previous video and for you know the past few days, I've been saying Tuesday, invest all your coins into Team of the Week cards. Tuesday, invest all your coins into Team of the Week cards. If you watched the previous video, the title of it was, this investment could fly exclamation point and um even if you were in my stream today on wednesday all i was doing was here ready watch 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 buying team of the weeks that's all i was doing and uh wow team of the weeks flew today but let's go over some of the sbcs and some of the stuff that i guess has been making team of the weeks rise what did we get today a jamie vardy sbc he cost around 170k fairly decent has a team of the week requirement pretty solid there thanks ea for the team of the week requirement He's got five-star weak foot as well. Unfortunately, no 99 pace. You would think Jamie Vardy. It could be cool to see him with 99 pace. But his stats on the card, I mean, five-star weak foot as a prem striker. He looks fairly solid. It, an SBC, I don't know if it was leaked, but came out. Jerzinho foot birthday. Really, really great card. Very, very solid. I guess, could you say end game? Jerzinho is pretty nasty. I guess we can somewhat say end game. I don't know. I haven't used his foot birthday at this point in the year, but five star, five star. He costs around 1.7 million coins. Yes, he's expensive, but getting fodder and crafting him over time isn't too hard to do. Now, uh, continuing the SBC that we got was the one that I, you know, pretty much said, yo, we're probably going to get this on Wednesday because we just keep getting it every wednesday the 93 plus team of the season or shapeshifter player pick and what is in this a team of the week requirement so another reason for our team of the weeks to rise you know what else had a team of the week requirement the sbc that refreshes every single day the sbc that refreshes every single day 85 plus times seven let's take a peek it has a team of the week requirement and it's refreshing again tomorrow on thursday i believe this SBC right here has a team of the week requirement as well and it refreshes tomorrow on thursday and then on friday i believe the icon SBC refreshes and guess what it has another team of the week requirement so team of the weeks were a really easy investment and that was that for content three SBCs right there i also want to show you guys we got a loading screen guess what footies confirmed friday we knew it yesterday uh foot sheriff tweeted it out but now we have the loading screen for footies and we have seen the market come down a decent amount now that it's like you know fully confirmed we have the market coming down and uh yeah i, I mean kind of like we said you know footies the market goes down a lot with that promo but we're starting to see it kind of come down beforehand and become if it, the market comes down too much beforehand we might look to buy thursday or friday morning more like friday morning just in case you know stuff does get too low but i'm just kind of throwing that out there now um Let's just talk about our investment with Team of the Week cards. You saw here that I sold 60 of them. I didn't mean to sell 60 of these cards. I I mean, I was lazy listing them. So I, I gave you guys all the pri prices in the previous video. And today before content, I was telling everybody, yo, let's buy these Team of the Weeks. They're 12K. So I was buying Team of the Weeks for 12K, listing them up for 15K, 15.5. And even after content dropped for like two hours, if you were in the stream, I didn't even trade with team of the seasons today. All I did in today's stream, I just sat and I bought team of the weeks. I bought team of the weeks for like two hours straight. I was buying them for 12K, 12.25. And they have risen a good amount. My lazy listings, I sold 60 of them. I was like, what? I sold 60 team of the weeks. Okay, how, how much are they going for? And if you check the price on team of the weeks now, I... Uh, <sighs> they are up a lot they are now just under sixteen thousand coins which is crazy i told you guys specifically to buy 85 team of the weeks for 15k and now all team of the weeks bare minimum are above 15k they're basically 16k so we're making a ton of coins there already and we're not selling yet remember we are not selling our team of the weeks yet if you want to be safe with your team of the week cards you sell them 
tomorrow on Thursday after content drop when all those SBCs refresh and team of the weeks are getting used a lot. Now, the reason why I say that's the safe play is because footy starts on Friday. And with the footies promo, they do a best of team and they put a bunch of previous cards back into packs and they can include team of the weeks in that. Now, I don't know what it was like last year with footies team one, but I showed you guys in the previous video. We looked at, can I pull it up? Let's just do it. So last in the last video, we looked at team of the week cards during the footies promo and the first two days of the footies promo, they went to the moon and by the moon, I mean, absolute moon team of the week cards went to nearly 70,000 coins. Now team of the week prices are different this year. You're not going to see that, but here, let's look at Lozano. So we look at, this is the very last team of the week on, I think this was the last one, on FIFA 22. So looking at it, footy started on the 15th. So we had team of the weeks down at like 40,000 coins and then footy starts on Friday and we see them at 69,000 coins. On Thursday, 73K right there. So big drop off though afterwards. So I'm thinking, I mean, that drop off could be because footy's, uh, team of the weeks were in footies that could be the actual issue so maybe the safe play is to sell thursday maybe preferably honestly thursday night or friday morning after maybe a lot of people have kind of sold out of the investment that's the safe play i actually i, I think i might end up going that route and um uh, yeah that's that's my take on team of the weeks i think safe play i'm just gonna sell i know i was saying sell between friday and monday but someone did bring it up you know footies team of the week could be in the best of and they can come down so i, I do think i'm just gonna sell these cards tomorrow on thursday or friday morning so that's that on team of the weeks uh other investments you can be doing we should be making good coins here i mean i, I hope you guys invested now other investments you can be doing let's talk about we did the team of the week update 93 plus okay Let's talk about fodder. So footies is, you know, a, a pretty big SBC promo. Let's actually just take a peek at last year. Let's go and look at a few cards real quick just to see what we have, you know, price wise to, I'm just going to look at 83s and 84s, honestly. So I want to look at 83s real quick and let's see. July 15th is around when it started. So 1400 coins with the 83s. And they went up to, I mean, they went up a decent amount, uh, up to what, two, two? That's nothing too crazy. I mean, it, it's a rise, but let's look at 84s. How did 84s do? I think 84s did really decent last year. And it makes me, I, I, right now, the way I'm looking at it, I think the 84s and 85s are going to be our route to go. Maybe 86s, I have to take a peek at the prices again, but let's just check this together. Probably should have done this before I started recording, but uh, wow. Yeah, it looks like 84s did very, very, very good. Very good. Okay, so I, I mean, honestly, it always comes down. I'm going to go back to this so we can do cheapest player by rating. It always comes down to what gets required. And chemistry was a thing last year. So 84s, an 84 squad with chemistry last year is really like an 85 overall squad this year. It's kind of, you know, there's no chemistry, so it's a bit easier to do. Uh, so when I'm looking at fodder, I mean, it's the same thing we've kind of been saying. We want 85s for below 5k. We want 84s for close to 2k and we want 86s for close to 7,000 coins. It's the same filters we do every single time. Just a quick run through of them. I'm not even going to search on them. I'm just going to do it. So say you want to buy 84s for around 2k, probably going to do something like that for your filter, 1100, 2000, 2400, 10,000, then moving on to 85 overall cards, min price 2100, max price 5000, min buy now 1025, and then you're doing 86 overall cards, it's going to be 3600, and what are they, 7k, something like that, so there are your filters for those ratings, and uh, yeah, I mean, footies SBC promo should be good now when you're coming when you're investing in fodder and it comes to these cards the best way to do it is invest in the cards going out of packs so you know best of promo it, it, there's going to be a best of team I don't know how leaks work with best of teams because I, I I don't know I don't remember I don't know if you guys remember any time we've had a best of team and there's been leaks for 
what is in it because usually it's almost like kind of a surprise so i don't know if best of is going to get leaked but if it does and you can get the leaks early investing in the fodder cards that are going out of packs is is the best thing you can do like for example someone like alfonso davies if this dude gets a best of card and he goes out of packs he's going to rise a lot a lot so just I i'm saying buy fodder but maybe try to target some of the fodder that could maybe get a best of card like you know maybe Team of the Season Alfonso, probably not because he just had a level up card, but you know what I mean. Team of the Season Alfonso Davies maybe gets a card. Maybe the Diaby Team of the Season gets a best of card. So something like that. If you can specifically buy the cards going out of packs, you can even maybe do it on Friday and quickly buy a content drop or just as soon as a leak comes out. Another thing I want to mention as an investment is we talked about it in the previous video with the footies promo last year there was a footies cup and with the footies cup it was the footies premier league cup to start off and i forget what it gave exactly i think it was just a ton of packs but you had to use like a premier league team and we saw premier league cards fly i can actually you know we can just show it like this i didn't even think about this let's go fifa 22 and boom so i, I this isn't really an investment i'm kind of just you know letting you guys know on friday or if it gets leaked, if the objective gets leaked, you should be looking right away. Okay, what league is it? And and that's pretty much it. What what league got required? So, ready? Watch this. On Friday is when footy started. We have St. Maximin at 1,700 coins. Friday, footy starts. Let's see. Let's go a couple days forward after the footies promo is going on. And people are doing the footies Premier League Cup. St. Maximin goes from 1,700 coins to over 6,000 coins. So there's a lot of profit to be made on cards like that. Now, like you could fully just boom, shoot an hour, shoot an hour into the dark and just hope, go buy St. Maximin and hope Premier League is the first one or go buy Alfonso Davies and hope Bundesliga is the first cup. Whatever the cup is first, a lot of those like low budget gold cards should do really good and rise a lot. But you know, like I said, it's kind of like a shot in the dark if you're trying to predict it. But if you do somehow get an early leak or maybe, you know, EA hints towards it. And somewhere it's like, okay, footies. Looks like we're leaked for a Premier League footies SPC. We're leaked for a Bundesliga footies SPC. So we'll be like, okay, maybe Bundesliga is going to be the first objective. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitting ideas out for you guys. Just think like that. But footies cup should be really good. Buying fodder. I like fodder. We did 84, 85, 86. 83s are very low risk because they're min price, but I'm not personally going to go that route. I'm going 84, 85, 86. And um, yeah, that, that's kind of that, guys. Tomorrow is Thursday. Content drop Thursday. Maybe player SBC. Marquee matchups is every Thursday. And Friday is the footies promo. Hopefully, we get more leaks. You can see all these team of the weeks that I was buying at content let's see i mean 15k 15 these are all 85 team of the weeks for like 15,000 coins like polisic i got polisic for 14k let's see how much is he according to footpin here we go i mean dude i've just made so many coins on this team of the week investment it was so easy to do so i hope you guys followed along with that we're gonna make so many coins on these team of the weeks and hopefully we can make a lot of coins with this footies promo but I mean, I'm gonna be honest, when the footies promo comes out, it's such an easy promo where like you get every card in the game and it's, we're reaching end game. And we started playing GTA on stream. If you guys ever wanna join our GTA custom race lobbies, I'm probably gonna be streaming that a lot. I think I do wanna test out career mode tomorrow though. So we'll, we'll see, but um, yeah guys, any questions? Comment section down below, free trading discord, Twitch live stream, description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.